Welcome back to our Med Smarter Lecture Series, where we're taking a smarter approach to preparing future physicians. Before we get started, if you'll take just a quick minute and click that like button, and also subscribe and turn the bell on so that you'll be notified when we post new videos. Let's continue on with our discussions of immunology and discuss the thymus. The thymus is another portion of the lymphoid structures that is located in the antero superior mediastinum. So as you can see in this picture, your mediastinum is what I'm circling right now, in the antero superior, so it's gonna be as close to the front of the chest wall as possible and towards the top of the mediastinum. So right where that uh, arrow for the thymus gland is pointing to is where we will usually see that. It is immediately posterior to the sternum and it is usually around the, uh, the heart area and the aortic arch. It is where T cells will differentiate and mature in the body. You'll see here in just a minute that I will show you a picture of the thymus, kind of a drawing here, and you're going to see that it is encapsulated. Uh, that is another point of the thymus that's important to know. Specifically here, on its embryology, the thymus epithelium is derived from that third pharyngeal pouch, which makes it endoderm. Now, Compare and contrast this to the thymic lymphocytes. The thymic lymphocytes here are mesoderm of origin. Now take a look at this picture over here. You can see kind of the uh, origination there of the thymus between the lungs and the mediastinum. And as you can see here, we do have a capsule uh, that is going to be out on the outer edge of the thymus. Directly below that capsule is our cortex. The cortex is where we have dense packing of immature T cells. So the T cells that are not matured enough to be able to be released to the body are going to be found in the cortex. Below that is our medulla. Uh, that is where we have our mature T cells. Uh, it's a pale color, uh, not as dense and packed as the cortex is. We also see uh, Hassel corpuscles uh, that contain epithelial reticular cells within that particular structure. Normal neonatal thymus has a sail shape uh, on chest x-ray. I don't have a picture of that. You can kind of see that a little bit here uh, in this uh, drawing. And you will often see the thymus involute by the age of three years of age. Something to help you remember T cells and B cells. Our T cells are from the thymus. So remember the thymus makes T cells and the bone marrow makes the B cells. Continue on discussing the thymus. The thymus uh, will often be absent. You won't have that thymic shadow, or you may have a hypoplastic thymus uh, in some immunodeficiencies. Uh, the ones that come to mind right off the top of your head should be SCID and George syndrome uh, for a absent thymus or absent thymic shadow. A pathology that can be associated with the thymus is a thymoma. Uh, and that is a neoplasm of the thymus. Uh, as you can see here in this CT scan, you're seeing that thymus that is uh, extremely enlarged. It's starting to take up space around it. Uh, typically, we're usually seeing this in the middle section, and it is actually growing uh, towards the posterior portion of the body here. Thymomas are associated with several different disease processes, specifically myasthenia gravis, superior vena cava syndrome, pure red cell aphasia, and then good syndrome. If you found this material helpful for your studying, please like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, share this video so that more people can benefit from it like you have.